What's up Transformers fans? Welcome back to another video. Today there's just a few things that I would like to discuss and get my two cents off of it. So first off we have the Takara Nemesis Bridge Pack that was released almost a week ago. It's a three pack that I'm very much looking forward to but uh, mostly because I need to replace the current versions I have. They have yellowed like crazy. The only other reason is because I just cannot help myself from wanting these figures. Now in my collection I am going for cartoon accuracy, not so much toy colors or anything like that. And with this three pack they have absolutely nailed it. First we have the Siege Shockwave. Now Shockwave looks like he has a much lighter shade of purple all throughout. He's got white thighs, white feet, and a white looking backpack. I'm not sure how I feel about the white backpack, but uh, he looks so much better than the Siege version. Next we have the repaint of Netflix Soundwave. Now Soundwave I am very excited for. Like I said previously, the thighs and the elbows have yellowed like freaking crazy. This is an excellent way to obtain this Netflix Soundwave once again. But this time around the forearms are done in a very beautiful metallic silver. He just has a much better paint job all around. Now Laserbeak looks exactly the same as what we got before, but it's very nice to see this sound wave available once again. He was extremely expensive because he was exclusive to Walmart. Now if you're only wanting this sound wave, I believe later on this year we will be getting a single pack version of this mold so you won't have to buy all three. And finally we have the reissue of Earthrise Megatron. Now Earthrise Megatron is not that great of a figure to be honest with you. Again, I'm hoping to replace the one I currently have because of the yellowing issue. But in my opinion, the paint job is so much better on this one compared to the other two. It has a sort of textured look to the metallic silver. They actually made him look like he's made of metal. Which in my opinion is absolutely beautiful. But you all know the old saying, polish a turd, it's still a turd, but I want this turd. <laughs> I am well aware that Studio Series 86 will be releasing Megatron next year in 2025. However, I do not believe for one second that that particular Megatron will look this good. But either way, I am very excited for this multi-pack. Next we have here an upcoming Target exclusive Legacy United vs. Multi-Pack. I have no doubt in my mind that this is what Hasbro Pulse is going to be talking about later on today in their stream. These characters include Tarantulas from Beast Wars. We're getting a reissue of this Tarantulas, but this time around it is done in the colors of the toy commercials. Next we have Prime Universe Cliff Jumper. Now we knew this from the very start when we saw the Chase figure. We were hoping and praying to see a Cliff Jumper repaint. May I say, this Cliff Jumper looks so good, it almost makes me wish I was collecting the Prime Universe figures. Now, I know a lot of people out there are collecting the Prime Universe figures, and it's unfortunate that he is a Target exclusive, plus you have to buy all the rest of the figures as well. So, this pack is going for approximately $80 retail. I believe it's after taxes. I don't know exactly how much, but if you're just wanting one of these figures out of this multi-pack, I'm afraid you'll have to get all of them. Next up, we have Legacy Tarn being reissued, but this time he is slightly repainted, in the Cyberverse colors. So if you happen to miss out on Legacy Tarn, this is a pretty decent way to get your hands on this guy. Lastly, we have the G1 Universe Squeeze Play. Now, Squeeze Play is a character I'm not too familiar with. I, I know that he is a character from the Japanese series and that he is a Headmaster Junior. Now, this Squeeze Play figure is a massive retool of the Titan's Return Mind Wipe. And included with this figure, we have the Master Force Browning Gun, which in my opinion, that is a very nice homage to the show. And I believe most of us collectors are mostly excited for Squeeze Play. So this multi-pack looks fantastic. They're doing a very random assortment of different characters across different universes, and no doubt that this fan stream from Hasbro Pulse later on today will be covering this multi-pack. But anyway, guys, that'll pretty much do it for me today. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy this content, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.